Hey savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today I'll be showing you around my new daily driver. I'm loading into Arch Linux right now. Give it a few moments here as things start up. Well, this is really more of just a start to my daily driver. I've put my capture card to good use and, and I just passed up the bootloader, which I chose Grub for this Arch Linux installation that I'll be using. And let me log in real quick. And once I've logged in, we can see that I have a DWM here running in the background. That's right, I'm going to take some time and use Arch Linux as my daily driver with DWM. Currently, it's far from set up all the way, but I do have the base system installed and running on my physical computer here and figured we can explore some of the stuff I'm going to be using with my Arch Linux install as my daily driver and what I plan on installing on this system. All right, let me start up a terminal here. And I currently have ST in use as well from Suckless and I plan on sticking with it. I plan on using DM so that I can keep as many resources allocated for the system to use instead of the display processes here, while still having the ability to use dynamic windows. We'll see how far I get with this because I have a tendency to bloat things up with some of the packages I like using. And if you're new and stopping by to watch this video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. So let me first show off my system resource usage here. All right, let me make this a little bigger so we can all see. And I'll run HTOP. And it looks like I haven't installed that quite yet, so let me do that real quick. So I'll rerun HTOP and check things out. This CPU has 16 cores because it's the Ryzen 3700X. And I have 32 gigs of memory installed. As you can see here, it says 31.3. There's only 23 tasks running with four threads, and the system has only been up for about two minutes here. It's a fresh boot up, and this just shows you how minimal things are here. With DWM, 247 megabytes being used out of the 32 gigs. Now, I haven't had any trouble with this current setup that I have. This is mainly going to be my editing and programming computer, and I still have my Pop! OS to fall back onto. I'm still enjoying my experience with Pop! OS, and if you haven't already checked out my video about that experience called Is It Great, you should check it out and I'll put a link in the description below. And then if I check out my home folder here, I have three folders because I went and built DWM and ST from source. Reasons I chose DWM is because it's a very minimal window manager, and I really like the fact that it's written in C, which is something I can understand. I actually forgot that I installed Yay from source as well. I believe I have it running. Yep, sure do. Don't want to install anything quite right now, but the command's working, which is what I plan on using to fetch down AUR packages. It was simple enough to pull down and compile on Arch Linux. I was actually thinking about pulling down ST or DWM from other users before I decided to spend the time and customize it on my own. Right now, I'm using the standard kernel and if we check things out with uname A, it says that we're using 5.9.10, but I'm pretty sure I'll be switching things over to the Zen kernel when I get a moment. I wanted to make sure that I could get things set up on the hardware before taking things too far. And if you went ahead and made it this far, please smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. Again, this is just the bare bones and beginning of my Arch Linux experience. I wanted to share some of these thoughts and one other new thing I'm also checking out is IWCTL as my network manager. I installed that as a package during the Arch Linux install process. And so far, I wanted to try it because I hadn't tried it before. And it's been fairly easy to use and intuitive. I do like it so far, and my connection setup was very easy for my Wi-Fi connection. I'll see if I stick with this network manager from now on, but in the past I've stuck with NetCTL. And IWCTL is really the client program and it comes from the IWD package if it's something you wanna check out. And we can see here after I typed in IWCTL, I got IWD out and this is where I can enter in commands to get my connection running. I won't be messing around with this too much. I'll just exit out. So let's check out the system information with NeoFetch and I currently don't have that one either. So let me install that. 
and forgot sudo of course let's run this real quick and now i should be able to run neofetch that way you can get a good understanding of the system i'm running here i have the Arch Linux x86 64-bit architecture with the 5.9.10 kernel running. There was a recent update with the kernels, so I'll probably update that as well. The amount of packages here on the system are 344. I'm using Bash 5, and my current window manager is DWM. I'm using the Iowata theme and icon package with the ST terminal, and the current terminal font is Liberation Mono. The CPU and the GPU... The more exciting things here is I'm running an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X with 16 cores at 3.6 gigahertz. And the GPU is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super with 32 gigs of memory here. So this machine should be blazing fast for what it is. Of course, with the NVIDIA graphics card, I do need the proprietary drivers from NVIDIA. I'll be installing that soon, but until then, I'm just mirroring the screen onto monitors. I'm excited to customize away with DWM and see what types of features I can add in. The first patch I'll probably be adding is the Swallows patch, which is great if you're starting applications through Terminal. I've actually patched this one in the past on a live stream before, and if it's something you want to check out, I'll leave a link in the description below as well as on the screen. There's really no plan right now to add any kind of an application shop. I'll mainly stick to using Pac-Man the default package manager, and yay to fetch stuff out of the AUR. And overall, I'm excited for this change of Arch Linux as a daily driver and getting to see the true power of my hardware setup with a very minimal Linux setup using Arch Linux here. I did set up a user and a sudoers group after I installed sudo on this Arch Linux install. And really the last thing I want to mention, at least for now, because I'll have more progress updates as I get to installing more stuff on the system. I'll focus on using Vim in this environment, which I'm already used to using when I program or just edit config files or things around the system. I might install some sort of an IDE to take care of some of the bigger projects that I have and maybe give me some debugging capability. I'm not sure quite yet what that's going to be, maybe VS Codium, but again, overall, I plan on using this for, for video editing, programming, and maybe playing a few light games such as the open source game called Velerin, which is available at Velerin.net. If you want, make sure to go check that out. It's free and open source and available here in Arch as well as other Linux distributions. And that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.